The first finalist in the Innovation in Construction Techniques or Materials category is Asonio Incorporated for the Monterey College of Law, Seaside. Asonio Incorporated demonstrated multiple innovations in its work on the Community Justice Center for Monterey College of Law. The goal was to create a fresh new courtroom and mediation facility on a site with a dilapidated military concrete masonry building. It was important to do it sustainably by reusing much of the existing building and to achieve a platinum LEED certification, all within a limited fixed budget. Success depended on many innovations working together. The project reused 94% of the original building envelope and recycled 97% of the construction waste. A platform for the new mechanical system, supported by independent columns, eliminated the cost of reinforcing the entire roof. Low flow and waterless fixtures provided a 63% savings on indoor water use. Native and drought resistant plants combined with weather sensing irrigation and a percolation system that recaptures all surface water achieve a 75% savings on outdoor water use. A photovoltaic solar system produces over 20% of the projected energy requirements of the building. Analysis of the times of use allowed for offset parking and an increased amount of open space. Much of the materials used in construction were recycled, some achieving up to 95% recycled content. Multiple materials were reused, including the furnishings of the mock courtroom. A system of day lighting significantly reduces lighting energy demand and improves the work environment. Careful planning of the building envelope achieved a 43% savings in energy use. Furnishings, finishes and ventilation were all specifically designed to improve indoor environmental quality. Asonio succeeded in achieving all of the project goals by integrating numerous innovations. The Community Justice Center now stands as the first LEED Platinum Certified Law School building in the nation and serves as an excellent example for the reuse of a decommissioned military facility. The next finalist in the Innovation in Construction Techniques or Materials category is Barnhart Balfour Beatty for the Wounded Warrior Bachelor Enlisted Quarters Camp Pendleton. The Wounded Warrior Bachelor Enlisted Quarters or BEQ at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton is the first of its kind on the West Coast. The facility, which serves wounded Marines and sailors assigned to Wounded Warrior Battalion West at Camp Pendleton, is fully ADA compliant and delivers sustainable features that qualified for a LEED Platinum certification. The design also meets Department of Defense minimum anti-terrorism standards to control access to the building, and energy and water savings at the BEQ exceed federal requirements. Design-build contractor Barnhart Balfour Beatty implemented many innovative building design and construction techniques to obtain the coveted LEED Platinum rating. Nearly every design feature takes into account the special needs of the occupants. This facility is uniquely designed for the Marine Corps and unusual for their standard facilities. And while these ADA features are everywhere, the design does not feel like a hospital or nursing home. The Marines are allowed to heal with pride and dignity, transition to civilian life, or get back to the fight. The BEQ serves as a model for innovation in technology, sustainability, and sensitivity to the environment. It meets ADA compliance for the Camp Pendleton Marine Corps Military Base, NAVFAC Southwest, and all military organizations. Just a few of the innovative techniques and features implemented by the design and construction team included a building envelope that is designed to reduce heating and cooling loads by 71.5% compared to a baseline building, utilization of a central plant with an ultra-high efficiency 80-ton air-cooled scroll-chilled water system that helped the project attain a 35% energy cost reduction 
recycling of 86.5% of waste generated on site, and use of building information modeling, which enabled the prefabrication of many of the MEP utilities and saved time on the schedule while also improving quality. The third finalist in the Innovation in Construction Techniques or Materials category is Valley Slurry Seal Company for the Santa Monica Airport, Santa Monica. The Santa Monica Airport is one of the busiest single runway general aviation airports in the country and is a vital reliever airport for Los Angeles International Airport. Originally called Clover Field, after World War I aviator Lieutenant Grayer Grubby Clover, the airport was once the home of the Douglas Aircraft Company. The city of Santa Monica contracted with Valley Slurry Seal on a project to extend the useful life of the airfield pavement and to better delineate usable, non-usable pavement areas. Prior to the project, there was some confusion from pilots on taxi zones due to the configuration of the striping. The primary goal was to create an unmistakable contrast with the pavement markings to outline the taxi zones for pilots and ground crews. The traditional solution is to outline unusable pavement with yellow stripes and to paint the non-usable area green. Green paint is more expensive than standard traffic paints and fades quickly in the Southern California climate. The innovative solution on this project was to place a green colored slurry seal, a cost-effective durable solution. Additional benefits include prolonging the need for paint maintenance and improving the existing life and the aesthetics of the pavement surface. Ultimately, the owner's goals were not only met, but exceeded. Valley Slurry Seal completed the project on time, within budget, with zero safety incidents, and with strong attention to detail at all levels. Due to the innovative design, materials selection, quality workmanship, involve coordination and enhanced safety achieved. This project will prove to be of value to the California taxpayer for years to come. <music>